I set out to find a great coffee shop in the historic mining town of Silver City, New Mexico. What I found was so much more. I found Tranquil Buzz. Tranquil Buzz is much more than a coffee shop. It's more like a spiritual retreat. It's an amazing place that has so much warmth and character. I got to connect with the creators of Tranquil Buzz, Dale and Renya. You know, we do a lot of the traditional espresso drinks, some mochas, lattes, cappuccinos, multiple flavors of those drinks. Uh, we have our own special blend of coffee called the Buzz Blend that our roaster does for us. But across the board, we just we do a lot of the standard drinks people are used to. We have a local herbalist that does all of our teas. She's amazing. And we also carry multiple lines of chai. So we have alternatives to coffee. And we carry really good decaf. I mean, if you like coffee but don't want the buzz, you get that. And we need to become a coffee and tea. <laughs> then you have to have China cups, right? right. Yeah. Little pinky yeah. <laughs> so they're alternatives because not everybody comes in here as a coffee drink. Yeah, but they want to be, yeah. and again, coffee's the catalyst. The people yeah. come in, exactly, and they spend yeah. sometimes all day here, hanging out with their friends, literally. And I want it to feel like their second home. You can come in and spend all day if you want to. This is not a turn, they're turn the table kind of place. You know, I want you to stay. I want you to bring your family, your friends. We have people playing Scrabble and chess. And I saw that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's sitting by the waterfall that we It's have. like the old mercantiles used to the be. The old mercantiles. People used to hang out and play checkers and talk yeah. and hang with their friends. Yeah. That's what I love about coffee shops. We also do book releases here. This town is full of published authors and poet laureates. She's a poet. She's a writer. So we... Every, one Saturday of every month, we have poetry, and we were about to start storytelling, which you don't have to be a writer to be a storytelling. We, all we were going to start that before COVID hit, so once we get going, and that'll be a Saturday for poetry, a, a Saturday for storytelling, maybe even open mic for comedians. We're going to have Friday night jazz, Friday and Saturday night jazz, when we stay open till nine, and then Sunday, three-hour concert. I'm going to get an old fashioned movie theater popcorn popper and we're going to have a small group of people and do a Wednesday night kind of movie thing. That's cool. And then we're both going to separately do a group, a group of women and a group of men that can gather and just talk. Not about politics. We're going to have artist pop-ups, too, with demonstrations. And we keep dreaming up more and more ways that we can uh, serve yeah. the whole. I recently talked to Dale about, yes, it's a coffee house. And that is, that is the way we greet folks. That is the catalyst. But underneath that, it is a new model of how to cooperate and collaborate in the community. We're just listening. We're, we're just going along for the ride. And we're sort of like the stewards, I guess you could say, yeah. to bring this forth. The secret to the success of this place is I am surrounded by brilliant people, young and old, that have come here and volunteered their gifts and time. So it's a collaboration beyond anything I've ever experienced. Yeah, me either. And it continues. It's not stopping. It hasn't slowed down. Nope. Yeah. I set my intention what I wanted and then I just went ahead and I believe without any doubt very unlike my younger self I lived in the more material world then and I realized that just setting that intention and believing it's already here when money became an issue to finish things I, I wasn't worried 
and it, it appeared. Yeah. Things magic started oh. happening from, from with like we need we need more wood to build, and we don't even have the money to go to the hardware store and get more wood to finish the deck or whatever. Tell tell her one of many situations. That well, here's happened. a situation. Just before we moved in down here, there was a gentleman pulled up in his little car. He gets out, picks up the hat the hatch and gives me this heavy bag. And he said, I just moved here. I've been following you on Facebook uh, and got in his car and left. I opened it up and there was $300 in that bag. And I never met him, never met him in my life and hadn't seen him since. This happens all the time. Generate, yeah. People, tough little. Generosity of spirit is amazing. Bills into his hand. And I've had people give me a thousand dollar check. It just, it blows me away, really. I mean, I've been brought to tears many times. How we really collaborate together is always just dreaming the gentle possibilities of, of potential. You just never know. But you gotta keep your heart open. And isn't that what healing is? Healing's keeping your heart open. Just staying open to the possibilities that maybe you've dreamed your, dreamt your whole life and think that you're done with it. Plant the seeds, let go. And if you're a person who fears changes, finding a way of not fearing it anymore because you're closing yourself off to thousands, millions of possibilities. Or accepting And fear. I was that kind of person. We wouldn't have met if we both hadn't have let go of where we had been, the relationships that we were in, or had come to the resolution that I love my relationship with myself and I don't need anything else outside of myself. I'm very happy with my life. And yet there was this little, little seed that said, just let go again to gentle possibilities without knowing what they are, when they might come and how they will be. And as soon as we both did that, we met. We met. And yeah. all of this has happened. And that was a year and a half ago. Yeah, but we had to surrender. We had to surrender who we thought we were, where we've been, what we've done. You chose the tree of life as our symbol. We're renewing the tree of life. And each of us have an opportunity to do that through our contributions, through how we live and what we choose every day. I think the healing comes about from helping other people here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. It's reciprocal. It comes back tenfold, hundredfold. And I think sometimes, maybe that's true, and I think sometimes we're really, really, really willing to look at ourselves, and that's what personal healing is all about. Showing up for our own healing, for our own personal growth, spins, it spirals, and it affects the whole. As the cleansing is going on and old systems are crumbling, the very same time the tree of life is being renewed, and there's um, there's a deepening, a healing, a changing, a renewal, a restoration. We all have to do our part, and it's once it's one being at a time, it's one breath at a time, it's one step at a time. There's a serious. Spiritual storm, if you want Awakening. to call it, going on underneath all of this. That yeah. When that dissolves, and it will, yeah. this new world and new ideas and new thought of yeah. how to live and, and, and love and take care of the earth is going to be there yes. when the old ways leave. It's, it's an exciting time. And I know there's got to be around the world. Pockets other of this pockets like this, yes. Other so foundations that are like that are okay. receiving new visions of how we can live differently yeah. and how can we can support a foundation no. of a new yeah. renewal of the earth. So, fractals, is that? Yes, fractals. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, because we are all part of together. giant oneness, right? <laughs> yes. That might be a new bumper sticker. <laughs> Bring your fractals together. <laughs> Assemble your
it's very relaxing to sit on the patio and watch the waterfall, listen to the amazing birds, and drink a great cup of coffee. And I'm so glad that there are people like Dale and Renya that are creating these amazing, healing, happy spaces like Tranquil Buzz. And thanks for meeting us here at Fifth and Overland.